the independent woman, independent means you're independent, right? Of right. anything. You're self sufficient. And so to be in a relationship, there's you have to give up something. Right. right. And so when somebody says they're independent, it's like, well, how do you be independent in a relationship? Then it means you're by yourself. Right. So if I'm an independent guy, well, then I'm not going to be in a relationship because mm-hmm. I'm by myself. That was the whole right. response, I think. And maybe there was some confusion around that. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought there was one that you had about if a girl's financially independent and they're like a boss woman and make six figures that basically they're going to be alone or it was something. Most of the time, well, well, the, the, the data and this again, messenger here, most women that are highly educated and very successful are generally unmarried and single by facts, by data. right? Right. And it's because to be as successful as they are, or you are is there, there's, masculine tendencies that come along with that to be successful you're driven you you have that that drive that that boss be mentality Mm -hmm. and that's hard in a relationship because biologically when you're in this relationship with a with a a successful man now there's a there's a struggle the power struggle right right and what happens is there generally becomes a, a blow up right and there's no relationship left and so you example again i'm not coming at you but you're you're dating you're mm-hmm. Unless you're living with, this is my definition of a relationship. You're dating until you live together. Right. Right? That's so true. You're, so you're not single, but you're dating. Right. So as an example, you're a veterinarian, you're successful, mm-hmm. you got a probably a master's or bachelor's? A bachelor's and a doctorate. A doctorate? Um, yeah. And DBM. You make, and you make over six figures a year. Yeah. So there's an example, right? And it's for you to date somebody... And be in a serious relationship, first of all, they have to be at your success level and above, socio and economic mm-hmm. level. So they're gonna have to make way over six figures, right? Right. And then that person that's making over six figures, they're gonna have they're in the top one percent income in mm-hmm. America. They're gonna have options. Right. So they're gonna they're, so a lot of those individuals have a tendency to be in a situation where because they have options, money's not important to them. Mm-hmm. They're looking for a feminine, fit, attractive. Uh, a woman that's submissive to the cause. I won't say submissive to the guy, but they're they're not in the leadership role in the relationship. The man's in the leadership role. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the women in your position don't want to take the back seat because they're in the leadership position at their job or right. their business and their life. Like if you want to go buy, I see you got the, the Chanel shoes, yeah. right? right? You want to go drop $1,000. Right. I don't know the price. But I mean, you're probably... Right Le- it's eleven seventy five. Yeah, it's always eleven seventy five, right? Right. right. The, and the guy's not going to say no because it's your money, right? Or you're right. already doing it. You're not used to. And so for those guys, the challenge is is like, and I'm not saying this is you, but if if I have to, if I have a choice, and, and I'm not in the top one percent, I'm looking for the person. It's not an age thing. This is where a lot of people get it twisted in my space. They think. Oh, they want young women. No, it's not about that. It's what comes along with that. And the older a woman gets, the more set in her ways. Mm-hmm. It's hard. It'd probably be hard for you to take a back seat. I I don't think that's true. So I think as far as relationship, like I always I always go for the alpha male, and I always want a man that leads. Like I have very traditional that's good. values. Like I, if we're driving somewhere, the guy should be driving you know, opening doors, all of those things. So, so, so I have a question. You meet a, this is a trivia question. This, this is good. Yeah. It's rare. Right. You would agree. It is. But you have, you have lady friends and you, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Guys worth, um, 500 million a year. I don't know. And I'm not talking about your, your guy right. friend. And he's like, look, I, I travel a lot. I want you to give up your career. We're going to get married. Would you do it? What does that entail? <laughs> Maybe he has businesses in, in Monaco, Milan. He travels the world and, and he puts you on payroll, hires you as a, a VP of communications just, just to give you a payroll. Yeah. You, you're, you see what I'm saying? But Because these guys don't. Yeah. They, you're, you're working a lot of hours. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to work as hard as I am right now. I'm only, I mean, I'm, I'm working 50, 60 hours right now because I want the extra money because it's just me. So. Right. So just you and your. Cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've only been divorced for a year. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I was in a relationship for ten years. So you're married for ten years? 